morning three. So it didn't reach your mountaintop. It did not. Thank goodness. Not okay. going to complain. Do you still have the app that tells you if someone's coming, an earthquake or like a tracker? Did you have that? I have the the app, but it's never worked for me anyway. You know, yeah, the, well, the, you know the, the, the app that, that warns you about an earthquake, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to give you, I don't yeah. know how many seconds no. warning, but, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't work. You have to be within a certain distance, I guess, of the epicenter, or it's not going to just tell you there's an earthquake in Nevada. Are I you- mean, even a few seconds, I can go under my bed, at least. The battle but starts. It's never gone off. Not a single time. You know what uh, kept her up all night uh, the, other, the other day? She was uh, afraid her dog Defend our base. Up on her. Okay, Ken, my dog in the middle of the night started barfing. Okay, and so I threw her off the bed. No, I didn't throw her off the bed. I gently took her off the bed and let her throw up and had to clean it. That was 3 in the morning. So, of course, the next morning Target I'm spotted. anticipating that, and that's why I didn't sleep. When you guys were asking me why I was really tired, I just said, yeah, I had a long night. So John, of course, off the air, was poking, 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 needed to know exactly and what the situation coming. was. And my Anti-aircraft gun on full system. alert. It's a fear of a dog vomiting. It yeah, wakes you up. Yeah. It wakes you up, and then you can't go back to sleep. I need my precious sleep. Enemy, Enemy aircraft incoming. They, they, they eat it up anyway. Enemy torpedo spotted. They'll, they'll eat it. They eat up their own vomit like us. Yeah, they do. Yeah, well, mine's not going the to. The situation is under control. No, that's disgusting. Yeah, it's recycling. Oh, right yeah. 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 Torpedoes! Oh. <laughs> they be Spend the brains of children with Deborah's fears. Sometimes, yeah, we do. We're bored. There's nobody here. We only have each other to talk to for the most part, so we talk about stupid things. I know. It's been going on two years now. <laughs> You're down to dog vomit. You were down to dog yeah. vomit, yeah. Um, we're going to begin the show with, I guess, we call it a lot of the show today is devoted to school issues, all different sorts of topics surrounding them. But uh, the first one is what's going on at UCLA. Normally, you know, when you shut down a school, it's the fear that a student might come to campus and cause harm, perhaps a mass shooting. In this case, it was a teacher, a former lecturer. I don't think we can call him a professor, but this is making big news today. A man by the name of Locked Matthew on. Harris, who was a postdoctoral fellow. Now, what is that? Uh, is that anything that we're supposed to be uh, impressed by? A postdoctoral fellow? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we always have a lot of guests that are fellows, John, and you always introduce well, them with much fanfare. Well, he's a fellow. He's a fellow university, but I don't know what they are. We hit the enemy. It's, I don't know what the designation means exactly. He's a philosophy lecturer. That's useless. Yeah, well, he's been gone before. He, he was let go last year because there were complaints about his behavior. And from what I can ascertain from this El Segundo Times story written by one, Target two, locked. three, four writers. Gee, this is a big one. <laughs> Solis, Teresa Watanabe, and Alejandra Reyes de la Rey. Um, he, he may have been sending uh, D pictures. Enemy torpedo spotted. Yes. Story in front of you. If you scroll I have the Washington Post. One story. they described it as self pornographic. No, the LA Times story. Wait a second. Uh, My daughter goes to UCLA actually, and she called me last night. She was filling me in, and uh, she also said that a guy that uh, was into porn. <laughs> to me, I oh, it could just be videos, but maybe it is personal <laughs> pornographic. Yeah, yeah that the, way, be. the word personal. Like maybe that's what Target I penetrated. Uh, so what kind of did, philosophy is that? He sent a video with pornographic content to a student, so they put him on leave. Like there were numerous complaints about his bizarre class. Uh, yeah, he's a postdoctoral fellow in philosophy. He completed his dissertation in Duke University in Torpedoes! Spring of 2019. But the reason they became alarmed is he was posting manifestos. Oh, a manifesto, video. yeah. Yes, videos, <laughs> manifestos. One video was titled UCLA. Destroyed an enemy ship. Sundown had disturbing imagery, including footage of the 2017 mass shooting. 
at the Las Vegas Music Festival. So he Remember believed in the uh, philosophy of uh, mass murder. You would think that somebody involved in the study of philosophy would be a pretty calm, mellow, or peaceful. peaceful. I don't know. Oh, in fact, that's exactly what he called it. Holy mackerel. I, it was a video entitled UCLA Philosophy Mass Shooting. Yeah, it was pretty specific. <laughs> And it was an 800-page manifesto with specific threats I said, some members I, of the department. I said that as a joke. <laughs> I hadn't reached that paragraph. <laughs> yeah, that's... Jeez. Oh, that would be a good hint what? that maybe... What? So out of an abundance of caution, our favorite term <laughs> during the pandemic, they, all classes were remote today. And just because they weren't sure of his whereabouts, but he has been taken into custody. He was in Colorado. And apparently they were nervous about him there, and he may have been under observation there he, because he was uh, he made contact with police in Boulder in October, but they didn't say much more about their discussion with them or whatever. In November, he tried to buy a gun in Jefferson County, Colorado, and he was denied. So there you go. Yeah. He's in a national database that includes a provision that he was not allowed to purchase or possess a firearm, but they didn't charge him criminally. When was the last time he worked at UCLA? Uh, he left last year. It doesn't say when. Last year? So in 21, yeah. I wonder how long he's been... He got there in 19, he left in 21. I don't know. I wonder how long he's been uh, putting up these uh, crazy videos. But if they videos. made contact with him in October, he was gone before then. So he was in, he was in Colorado in October. Oh, look at this. Uh, they've got uh, a website called BruinWalk.com. That's where students can post anonymous reviews of professors. And two yeah. students described disturbing and erratic behavior. Uh, one review said... He's extremely unprofessional and has sent personal pornographic content to a student. Yeah, 